Hello, Grand Rising. Collective. So as you already know, this is a collective reading. I already read into your energy, so I'm just going to get into it and explain as what Spirit is talking about. So the first cards that came out was the Moon card, which represents secrets. We got the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups, which is about third parties, situations. And then we have the Three of Wands. So immediately when I first put these cards down, the energy that I picked up was that somebody is plotting to rob you okay they either plotting to rob you or they already take an action and they already um robbed you so just take it however it resonates okay and they're plotting with two other people but they're not doing this alone and they're plotting three of wands planning that's all about planning so be very careful because somebody is plotting to rob you okay i'm moving moving to these cards right here okay we have the Ten of Cups, the Chariot, the Two of Swords, and the Four of Swords. So what I see here, Collective, is I see somebody getting arrested at their home. Um, If this person, Collective, if this person did rob you, I see them getting arrested at their home. Um, for others, um, you may be traveling, you're thinking about traveling, you're thinking about moving, you're thinking about buying a, a home somewhere else in a different state, maybe a different country, take however it resonates, you're looking forward to moving. So you want to start somewhere fresh, like you just want to get away from all the negative energies, you just want to get away from all all the old energies and you want to start new with the two of swords here i see you i see you getting rid of things that no longer serve you that aren't helping you grow that aren't helping you evolve that's what i see with the two of swords collective um with these Four of Swords right here. Right there. Um I'm just trying to see if I can channel any other messages with this four of swords. Um, yeah, so you guys are getting rid of people, things, you guys are, um, even any negative habits that you might have picked up from past traumas and, you know, from what you've been through in the past, even those habits, you're in a new chapter in your life, collective, and you don't need those old habits anymore because you're not in that toxic environment that you were in anymore. So I see you really letting go of things that no longer serve you, which is an awesome thing. Um, I also see that um, 
you allow people to reveal their true colors to you you don't have to do anything people just ex <laughs> expose themselves and you're just very aware that people aren't who they claim to be and people just seem to expose themselves they be putting the nail in the coffin for them damn selves but moving on you have the thought card somebody is in their head worried overthinking overthinking about a situation now this person right here um my beautiful collective this night this is the person that knows you that is plotting to rob you right this they could be an earth sign doesn't have to be but for some of you it could possibly be an earth sign so virgo taurus um what's the other earth sign capricorn but it doesn't have to be so if this person has a stole from you if if this situation has occurred this person is in their head about it they're worried they're nervous because they feel like you know they're thinking oh what if we get caught what if so and so finds out that it's me like what if they recognize the sound of my voice they're worried um for others if this hasn't occurred this person is having doubts about robbing you they're having doubts something in their their intuition is telling them not not to do it i heard like a man's voice outside i did not get a chance to mention this in your reading collective so i'm saying this now the man's voice that i heard is a confirmation that this is a man's energy this is a masculine energy who's plotting this against you his this person's intuition is telling them not to rob you and they better listen because you're not you are not the one to be um played with, collective. Um, moving on to the love card. Now, when this card comes out, it could be, yes, it could be an ex-lover. So, for some of you, it could be an ex-lover. If that doesn't resonate with you, then this could be somebody that you were sleeping with, okay? And they ended up quote-unquote falling in love with you falling in love with you that's not love it's called obsession because if somebody truly loved somebody they wouldn't go and set them up put their life in danger to go get robbed like who nobody does that so this person ended up obsessing over you my lovely collectives so so this could be this is definitely somebody that you know that you had a connection with okay if that doesn't resonate with you then it could this could also be um a relative take like i said take whatever resonates with you moving on to this card this card came out in reverse um how do you pronounce this frivolity so this person has a lot of um heavy weight on their heart they carry a lot of guilt they carry a lot of guilt um about things in this person's past that they've done they carry a lot of hurt they a lot of guilt yeah they're They're very negative. And because of this, they're very negative. I'm getting that they're very negative people. They're, being around them is just like, they're like toxic. Like they like to live that toxic lifestyle. Like they think being toxic is cool. Like that's the wave. 
no that's not the fucking way like that's for the losers okay that's for the losers but here we have the friend card um this person could be wanting to come back into your life collective and pretend that they're your friends you know they, they're gonna come off like oh you know like i'm cool like i'm cool like they want to be your friend they want they want to have access to your energy again but don't don't fall for it don't fall for it collective because this person is a liar this person is a liar they like to keep secrets from you they like to keep secrets from me with this uh, moon card. Um, my lovely collectives. So please don't fall for it. They just want to see what you're doing. Okay? They just want to see what you're doing. Keep an eye on you. Make sure you don't find out that they're plotting to rob you. Or that they're the ones that robbed you. Like, please be careful. Don't. Please. Please. Now, moving on to the bottom cards, we have, it says witch, and at the bottom it says healer. So, my beautiful collectives, with this card right here, you, my loves, are born witches, okay? You are born brujos, whatever it is. You have, you have spiritual gifts. You have very strong, powerful spiritual gifts. And okay. So, like I was saying, a lot of you have, um, you have very powerful spiritual gifts. And you come from a, um, you might have came from a family that actually does magic and works with DTs. You know, they're spiritual. They're in tune with that stuff. So a lot of you guys might have families that practice magic or you, or your ancestors used to practice magic. Like you come from a, a bloodline of witches okay a bloodline of witches bloodline of warlocks psychic mediums okay so you have a gift my love and you need to tap into those gifts spirit wants you to tap into those gifts you need to tap into these gifts this is part of your um this is part of your soul mission, your purpose. This is who you are. And when you don't deny this part of you and you come in alignment with it, oh, that honey, that's the whole game changer, baby. It's the whole game changer right there. Like you about, you're going to feel so aligned with your purpose. And that's like the best feeling ever, feeling aligned. In alignment with your purpose man so yes tap into that guys do not be afraid what they think okay what matters is you your well-being your happiness okay like my parents are religious and I'm a whole witch You know, don't be afraid what people are going to say, okay? You need to get that out of your head. If you are afraid or you feel shameful cause you're, or you feel like you're going to get judged, don't worry about that. All of that is irrelevant, okay? That has nothing to do with you. That's just their own projections of themselves, and they're projecting that on you. Anyways, we're going to move on. We have air. And then at the bottom it says imagination. So with this card, my loves, spirit really wants you to tap into your imagination. Tap into that creative energy. 
they want you to tap into that it seems like you kind of um what's the word i want to use it seems like you i'm not gonna say you lost that ability because we don't lose our abilities they're always there um Like you got, like your imagination got a little rusty because I don't know, you just, I don't know, with whatever's going on in your life, it just, it really took a lot out of you and you just, you know, it took your, it dimmed down your creativity. You didn't feel as creative, you didn't feel as inspired, you know. But now Spirit is saying you need to tap into that energy. You need to tap into that energy. Create whatever it is you desire. Okay. Our being able to imagine things is very powerful. Um, you can you can pray to your ancestors, your spirit guides to help you tap into this creative energy. You can ask the spirits of air to help you connect with your imagination with your creativity you know do stuff that really activates and inspires you that inspires that creativity in you do that do those extra do, oh, do those exercises you know what i'm saying don't be afraid of what other people think of your ideas okay you're gifted and you have a gifted mind. People are jealous of you. Okay. So tap into this energy. Tap into your imagination. I know when we're younger. We have like the most wildest imagination. I know I did. I had like. I never had um, an imaginary friend. No. I've never had that. But. I had this gift as a child where I was able to visualize, literally visualize like a doll. Let's say I wanted to visualize the doll right in front of my face. I could literally visualize that and make it appear like it would appear right in front of my face. And it would seem like it was really there. Like our imaginations is just our minds in general is very powerful so tune into that tune into that there's a reason why spirit wants you to tune into that okay so really try to tune into that try to do things that inspire you and just bring out that creativity out of you and now we have the next card we have the watchtower of the north winter so something could be coming in for you guys this winter. Um, somebody could be getting initiated this winter. Or somebody is going to go through like an initiation. Like you're going to go... What's a good example I can use? Like you're going to experience something that it's going to awaken. It's going to awaken you. Okay. And this awakening is like going through an initiation. So, and look, spirit initiation. This comes, this right here, my loves, this confirms to me 100%. That you guys are some, you guys come from very powerful bloodline of witches, warlocks. And a lot of you, you need to be initiated on whatever it is you feel more called to, whether it's Santeria, 21 Divisions, um, Ifa, whatever it is you feel drawn to. Um... But you definitely, definitely are meant to be a high priest or high priestess. You're meant to be, you're supposed to be initiated. 
So think about that. Some people, they have to get initiated for problems to go away from their lives. Like they had to get initiated. So, you know, being getting initiated, that's also a game changer. But yeah, so some of you, either you're going to be initiated during winter or you're literally going to actually go through an initiation by yourself. Well, you're not, you're actually not by yourself. You're with your spirit guides, but you know, so that's what I have for you guys there. So, and we're going to move on to these cards right here. We have the hangman and reverse and the five of cups. See? So, my loves, I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that you had a difficult time accepting something, like accepting some kind of lesson. Like you didn't want to accept something, like you didn't you didn't want to learn from the situation, you didn't want to take anything from it. You didn't want to change. And that left you that decision left you very stagnant, that decision that you made, that you didn't want to learn from the lesson. Because the hangman talks about experiencing, literally being, he's tied from, well, he's not, this is um, a different deck, but it literally shows a man being tied from his leg upside down, like, like he's forced to see a new perspective in the situation. So you guys were refusing to change your mind, your perspective on an experience that you've had. Like you wanted to remain upset about the situation. And that left you feeling stagnant, feeling confused, feeling confused. You see that there's a maze. Let's be feeling confused, um, burden, and just very, like, not peaceful. Like, you didn't feel at peace inside of yourself with this. But here with the Page of Wands, the Page of Wands and the Magician Collective, I see you going through an awakening. I see you going through an awakening and mastering yourself, this magician. So you actually do heal. You actually do change your perspective. Um. Yeah, some here with the page of wands, he's holding a... a you see he's holding a paper. So a, some kind of truth could be um, coming out as well. A truth. And it gives you clarity on a situation that was bothering you. It gives you clarity. But I definitely see you guys mastering yourselves. And becoming the magician. Becoming the ultimate manifester. Manifesting all that you desire. Manifesting the life of your dreams. Which is beautiful. You, I, I really see you guys mastering your your thoughts, your mind, your emotions. Just mastering yourself. So. That's what I see for you, my loves. You guys are moving forward from this. You guys will be moving forward from this, okay? 
whatever the situation was that you went through, my beautiful collectives, you will move on from this. You will move on. You will move on. Um, Spirit is saying, Spirit just told me, um, talk to them. Talk to your spirit guides. Talk to your ancestors, okay? If you're upset, you need a vent, talk to your spirit guides. Talk to your ancestors. They're always listening to you, okay? And they want to help you. They want to help you. All you have to do is ask. And boom, they're on it. They're on it. All you have to do is just ask. Okay? Okay, my beautiful collective. Um, That is all I have for you today. Enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you for taking the time out of your day to click on my video and watch it i greatly appreciate that if this resonated with you make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos more readings from me have a good day everyone sending so much love to all of you bye my loves